Yellowstone National Park has received the word to just say no to wolves. A poster designed to promote the reintroduction of wolves into the park has been barred from sale in visitor centers. The Park Service says it does not want to appear to be promoting the controversial idea until Congress acts. Utah Congressman Wayne Owens has introduced such a bill, but Wyoming's congressional delegation is dead set against it. Poster promoters say the decision not to sell the posters amounts to government censorship. After a little wild rain last night, it got kind of nice today. Well, it really did. But did you notice it was a little cooler out there? Yeah, yes. well, it was. Was it ever nippy? Yeah. Chance tonight of frost. There is a chance oh. of frost tonight. And I say that because I know a lot of people have plants back on the stoop or out in the front stoop or whatever. You might want to bring them in. You're going to need them in the next two or three days anyway. We have a cold snap coming at us tonight. In some of the lower areas of Salt Lake Valley in northern Utah, we could get a frost and a freeze in the area. <laughs> Six o'clock outside, anything but summer weather. Temperatures at 54, which is... Believe it or not, about 10 degrees below average for this time of year right now. North breeze at 9 miles per hour. That breeze had a little bite to the day, but it did turn out to be a pretty good day. And we got some welcome showers around at least the northern half of the state last night. Forecast for you if you're traveling around the state. Don't want to put a damper on your plans, but you're probably going to have to go clear down to south of Las Vegas to Lake Mead to get extended sunshine this weekend. These are approximate temperatures averaged over the weekend that you'll have in some of the areas around the state and the region for vacationing and for traveling. It won't be the best weekend, but then again, it's Utah and surrounding climes, so it's got to be good even just the same. A lot of clouds in the northern part of our country in the west uh, kind of circulating over the area, and I think uh, most of the clouds will begin descending on the area along the jet stream. We're noticing now a little ripple in the jet stream, kind of bowing. A trough is building out over the Gulf of Alaska. That will continue to slowly intensify. I think by midday Saturday, northern parts of the state, end of the day Saturday, southern parts of the state, the cold front will come through and abruptly cool us down. The jet stream right now feeding moisture, brushing by northern Utah. That's going to continue to bring us some clouds and some sunshine mixed until Saturday when it'll be good and cloudy and start getting good and cold. Uh, let, let's first go to temperatures around the state. We had some warm temperatures reported in the South. Kelly, Ted called in, said in the 80s down in southern Utah and St. George. 55, the official high at the airport. 65, the average high this time of year. Rainfall amounts were oppressive in some locations. I found uh, over a half inch of rain reported in by Herb Dixon in Holiday. Lately, uh, Dwayne Roundy called in from Cache Valley in Wellsville, said about a half inch up there. Uh, wind gusts, Wellsville, Montpelier, Idaho, Snow College, and Ephraim, all over 40 mile per hour gusts today with Fairview and Provo, 35 or better. We appreciate all of those folks that take time to call on any given day to give us the weather observations. We figure when it's from you, it's a good local, uh, a good local number, and we'll take it. We appreciate that effort. Now to the national map. 15 inches of rain the last 24 hours. That's a true story. In Le Monde, Texas, that's just in the Abilene area, back up toward Brownwood in north central Texas, 12 inches. Dallas Fort Worth area, 6 inches. A bunch of rain. The thunderstorms continue in that part of the world. 20 degrees burned Oregon last night. That was the lowest for the nation. 92, 92 in Philadelphia, 91 Baltimore, 90 in Washington, D.C., 97 degrees Cherry Hill, North Carolina, and Cherry Point, North Carolina, and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, all record temperatures along the east coast for today. Let's get to the forecast. A few showers with some sunshine in Jackson tomorrow. Partly cloudy to showery cloudy around the region as the storm begins to move in. Richfield's going to see a high of 67. Not a bad day tomorrow. We're saying southern Utah will see partly cloudy skies and respectable temperatures tomorrow. The five-day Dixie forecast, though. Clouds increase Saturday. By the end of the day, showers, showers of rain and snow in the higher elevations. Showers uh, uh, right on through Monday in a, in a mixed fashion with sunshine and then sunshine back Tuesday. Along the Wasatch Front, 36. Could be some freezing temperatures in northern Utah tonight. 63 for a high tomorrow. Partly cloudy in the north. And our extended forecast, the five-day Wasatch forecast. Showers Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures abruptly dropping off about midday Saturday as the cold front comes through. Just before the storm, I had the, the pleasure of going out to Bryant Intermediate School today in Salt Lake City for a career day at the junior high out there. Fun. One of the girls named Amelia Eddington wrote a little poem that made me so happy. Junior high, it's tough. It's tough, boy. They're hard on you. To Tim's so cute. Too. He's really rad. Tim's the best. He's neat, cool, and bad. And that's a compliment from a junior high Do you know what rad there. means? Yeah, radical. That's short for radical. It's like saying, you gotta have hey, kids dude. To know I got a lot to learn. Yeah, yeah. You'll, <laughs> learn. Thanks, You'll catch up. Stick yeah, around, Bob and I. Right. That's right. Well, some of the Golden Eagles could be going up in flames. We're going to have that story coming up next. In celebration of our new Provo store, all three Shore Appliance locations are having a warehouse clearance sale on Whirlpool Appliances. A special purchase of washers, dryers, dishwashers, Refrigerators, ranges, and compactors have given us the year's best prices. Ranges from $329.95. Washers, super capacity, $349.
dryers $2.99, dishwashers $2.39. Come in and celebrate with us and we'll give you a free box of laundry detergent. Sure Appliance in Salt Lake Sandy and our newest location in Provo. On July 21, 1989, the former Surgeon General of the United States declared that America's health care system was broken. <laughs> Yet when pressed, he said, we have the potential for the best health care system in the world. What did he look forward to in the future? Reasonable health care for every American at a reasonable cost. For the last 28 years, FHP has been practicing the sort of health care that knowledgeable people are only now beginning to talk about. Two pizzas with 10 toppings for $9.99. That's impossible. Are you kidding? Anything's possible. Look at this. This thing chopped on the head of a pen. Two pizzas with ten toppings for $9.99? That's impossible. Anything's possible. I taught my dog to say I love you. <laughs> Little Caesars has done the impossible. Two pizzas with ten toppings for $9.99. Pizza, pizza. At Nissan, we realize the truck owners are the kind of people who like to go to extremes. Why even our standard hard body 4x2 has the biggest cargo volume and the most powerful standard engine of any leading truck in its class. After all, you don't have to go off road to need a tough truck. Right now, pay just $69.49 for a standard hard body 4x2. Tough truck, great price. Former BYU quarterback Jim McMahon is looking for a new football team tonight. McMahon was released today by the San Diego Chargers after the two sides failed to reach a new agreement. McMahon, who started 11 games for the Chargers last season, asked for the release so he can negotiate with other teams. The Salt Lake Golden Eagles open up two rounds of the Turner Cup playoffs tonight with the Indianapolis Ice in the Salt Palace. Bill Marcroft says there might be some Canadians in the stands watching. With the Calgary Flames out of action in the Stanley Cup, the NHL team's attention has been turned to their affiliate here in Salt Lake City, the Golden Eagles, and their quest for the Turner Cup. And we understand there's four players they're going to take a close look at. Number 18, Mark Bureau. Number 27, Stefan Matteau. Number 3, Kevin Grant. And number 8, Tim Sweeney. The Calgary Flames will have those four, plus the entire Eagles operation under a microscope during the IHL playoffs. Sweeney is the leading scorer for the Eagles. He can do it even lying down, and he definitely has drawn Calgary's attention. Any prospect that they have is going to potentially play for Calgary. I think they're going to have him on a microscope anyway, so I don't think it really has any bearing on us. Coach Bobby Francis' assessment of Sweeney is short and sweet. So he's a rookie this year, and he's a second-team All-Star, so that pretty much speaks for itself. Euro is the second leading scorer for the Eagles, and he missed a few games. If uh, the GM of Calgary is here or uh, somebody else, you have to play differently, you know. You just have to play the same way you play all year. He's improved at a tremendous rate from the first day we got him. Grant is a defenseman and doesn't get a lot of publicity or chance to score. The more a team, the farther a team goes, uh, the more the team's going to see you, the uh, executives up there are going to see you, and uh, if they see what they like, then all the better. If he continues the rate of improvement that he's displayed this year, uh, I think he's going to be an excellent NHL prospect. Stefan Matteau is a big guy, 6'3", and while he doesn't score as much as others, he may have the most potential. They've been looking at us all year long, so it doesn't make any difference for us, and uh, we have to play the same way. Uh, I think uh, he's as sure a shot as there is to play in NHL in this league. If you want to see them in action, <laughs> you better go now, because they may be gone next year. Bill Markroft, KUTV Sports. Watch out, Joker. Batman's in town. That story's next. It's R.C. Willie's anniversary, so bring us your floor plans. We'll bring you three rooms of beautiful Queen's carpeting in your choice of earth tone colors for just $3.99. Up to 40 square yards, enough to cover an average living room, dining room, and 3 by 12 hall. Complete with deluxe foam padding and tackless installation, just $3.99. Plus, during our anniversary, with your new carpet purchase, this deluxe 18-speed mountain bike for just $69.95. Three rooms of Queen's carpet for just $3.99, plus the bike during our anniversary sale at R.C. Willie.
Nothing moves you. Like Cougar Mon. That's why. Move into a 1990 Cougar right now and you'll get the Mercury Advantage. Save $2,221 on Cougar LS by combining $1,500 cash back with $721 savings on an option package that adds speed control, cast aluminum wheels, stereo cassette, tilt steering wheel, power lock group, and more. Move now and get the Mercury Advantage. Hurry. Cougar Month ends April 30th. Nothing moves you. Like See your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Ah, the signs of spring. And great lawn and garden savings from True Value Hardware Stores. Border your lawn with Suncast Poly Edging, just $4.88. Or for a rustic look, choose Gilbert & Bennett Cedar Edging, only $4.99. And for rugged protection, get Gilbert & Bennett Galvanized Diamond Guard Fencing for just $27.88. And fence posts for $3.49 each at participating True Value Hardware stores and home centers. I love Baskin-Robbins, except when Mom's on a diet. She asks for a taste and keeps tasting. Now everyone can love Baskin-Robbins a light new way. New Baskin-Robbins Light are fabulous flavors with fewer calories. It's the best light ever. We guarantee it. If you don't agree, you'll get a cone free. Baskin-Robbins, now there's more to love us for. I can eat in peace. Entertainment Tonight is next. It's Hollywood versus New York in a red-hot controversy over Bonfire of the Vanities. They call their group Earth First, and they're out to make a strong point about how we treat the planet. In tonight's KUTV News Extra, environmental outlaws will hear what the mainstream has to say about this radical movement. That's joining a lot more coming up tonight at 10. Well, Batman is back, scaling the walls of a Salt Lake City school. Principal Brent Bateman of Lincoln Elementary became Batman today after his students met a reading challenge. The Murray students read more than 80,000 pages. The principal put on his cape and climbed to the roof of his school. From there, he read to the students. And after several hours of reading in Batman attire, he probably wished the Batmobile would arrive to take him away. The kids really look like they were getting a kick out of that. Oh, yeah. Well, can you imagine your grade school principal climbing up uh, on top of the roof in Batman attire? I would have liked it. It would have been funny. Too bad the Joker wasn't there to give him a bad time. That's it for KUTV News at 6. Have a great evening tonight. We'll see you at 10. Have a good evening.